Hi, this is Mr. Leftridge, computer technology teacher at Oakwood Adventist Academy. Thank you for taking these few moments to view this video. We're going to focus on a very important website for accelerated reading, and that is what we call the AR Book Finder website. If you go to www.arbookfind.com, uh, this will lead you to the home page for uh, the accelerated reading book find, and sometimes I say finder, but the website is www.arbookfind.com. Uh, and what this website will allow you to do is actually locate books that have tests. Uh, there are thousands of um, accelerated reading tests available. However, there are some books uh, that uh, there are no tests for. So one of my suggestions is first find the interest of your child. What are they really interested in reading? And then uh, determine uh, the author or the, or the book. And then uh, let's see you know, if there's actual tests for it. <clears throat> so if you go to AR Book Find, Dot com. You come to the home page. Uh, a student can do the same thing. They can just click student and go through the process. Uh, a parent, teacher, or librarian. I'm going to click on parent for our demonstration. And it will lead you to uh, this page. Uh, I just want to highlight some other things before we actually do the book search. Uh, for those that speak Spanish, there are information books on, in Spanish that you can look under. They uh, also will allow you to suggest a quiz like for example if there is a book that uh, does not have a quiz you can go to this particular website and um, simply submit uh, the book title and the author year etc and let them uh, you know let them see that you're interested in having this particular book as a as a text all right so that's that's good information there for you and also, this is a good uh, link about us. If you want to know a little bit more about Renaissance Learning in general, uh, it tells you everything about them, their background, uh, what they, the purpose and mission of Accelerated Reading. And I think that's just you know, good, good information if you uh, want to get some more information on the Renaissance Learning program. And of course, there's a help button here uh, so that if you need any if you have any questions, you can just go right to their menu for help, uh, and that is also very helpful. For the quick search, which is mostly what you'll be using most often, if there's a particular book that you want to check to see if there is a test for it, just simply uh, type the name of the book and click Go. For our demonstration, we're going to use a book, a uh, diary of a would-be kid that seems to be most popular for the younger um, grades between three and five, uh, three and fifth grade rather. Um, sixth, seventh, and eighth is the same process. You can simply just type in the title of the book and click go. What will happen is you get your search results, and this will let you know if there's a test for this particular particular book. If, if you put a, a title of a book in here or an author and click go and you don't get any responses whatsoever, then you know immediately that there are no tests for that book. So right here, it gives good information. It tells you the book level. The BL stands for book level. So this is 5.2, which means fifth grade, second month. And then uh, the corresponding points for if the child reads rather tests on the book and gets 80 percent or better they will actually get three points for that book what I like about this website it gives you ratings uh, based on students who have read the books and have tested on them they will give you they will write their own books so uh, this has obviously a nice high rating and it gives a little summary of what the story is about. You have an option to buy from Amazon. Uh, just a quick link there that you, you know, if you want to purchase the book, you can click right on that link. It'll take you right to Amazon.com. You can uh, purchase the book if you like. And, and it gives you uh, the quiz number here, information along if it's fiction or uh, nonfiction. And of course, here you can see all of the, the books that uh, have tests on this particular 
uh, series or a particular author. And my suggestion is to find books that uh, students can really get into, like a, a series or a particular author. Uh, that way there's several books available, such as in, in this case, and some of our students have already uh, began reading these books and have enjoyed them. So once you do that, then there's obviously several books that, uh, that you can um, uh, read. Now, if you can't find what you're looking for, if you look on the left-hand side, uh, you can refine your search down to interest level. You can go to middle grades, uh, middle grades plus, fiction and nonfiction, and of course the language, English and Spanish, and then topics or particular topics that a child um, might be interested in. You can click on those links on the left-hand side. This correlates with the advanced search. If you click here, you can put more information in the title, the author, if you might have an ISBN number. Uh, the interest level, um, you know, if it's K to 3, 4 to 8, um, middle, middle school to 6th uh, grade and up, and then high school. So all that is right here. You can actually type in the book level. For example, when you got your report regarding the child's uh, the ATO, ATOS book level, which is equivalent to basically the book level of, uh, of your child's reading ability at the time of the STAR assessment. And just say, for example, they're at, you know, fifth grade, second month, or something like that. You can actually type that information right here, and you can go as high as you, as you like. So if you want to do a search just based on book level skills, you can do that as well. And then, of course, you have topics, all kind of topics that you can um, put in. You can get, you got subtopics here in fiction, nonfiction. You can sort by uh, rating, uh, book level, interest level, author, title. So this gives you a little bit more detail with your search on you know particular books that you might want. You can uh, do, you know words that contain. You can the words that start with or exact match. Uh, the choice is yours. Collections is a great area to kind of look to see what what books are out there. You know, you may not have an idea of what kind of books would my child be interested in. Of course, a student can can do the same thing as well. Uh, here's a list of um, award-winning books that you can just click on. You have notable best books here all the way down uh, to Newbery uh, uh, Medal and um, Newbery Honor. A great selection of books. These are books that have received national awards. And all you got to do is just click on one of these. We'll take Coretta Scott King Award Honors books. And uh, right here you can get, get quality uh, books um, for that particular award. And uh, this one has 10 pages alone. And this is a very nice place to go if you're not sure where to you know, go for quality books. You have a state list here. Each state has their own list of books that uh, they recommend. And you can go to our state uh, of Alabama all the way down to um, you know, to the end here, to Wyoming. You have also library, librarian picks. This, these are picks from the, the librarians across the nation from various years, uh, all the way back to, wow, 1999. You can go from there all the way up to uh, 2011. Also, you can look at what kids are reading. This is a fantastic list here. Um, kids, you know, they, they are your best uh, critics on books. They will do the best recommendations on what they think is, is uh, our good book. So right here, if you clicked on 2013, uh, you can go to 100 most read fiction, 100 most read nonfiction, 40 most read books overall, 40 most read graphic novels, 25 most read Spanish books. And so let's just click on on this. 
and then now you can drill down to the book level itself. So if you know your child is between um, six in uh, eighth grade and uh, they're on that particular level or the high school level you can simply click on that level and look at all the books let's just take the middle school uh, section so here's some books that that a lot of students are reading these are popular books that means students like to read them and, and these are a list of a hundred right here so if you're not sure where to start where to go interest great place to go and you can uh, get drill down to that specific information. I'm going to highlight what I especially like about the AR Book Find website is this little link right here which is add to AR Book Bag. Uh, you can click on that and what I just did is I added this book to the AR Book Bag and so if I just want to spend a few times in a search, I can just, you know, see a particular book. Oh, I like this book. Let me just add it to my AR book bag. And you now are gathering a list of books of interest. And so when you click here on the left-hand side on the uh, yellow tab there at the top, now I have a collection of specific books that I have chosen uh, as a student or as a parent. Um, and then you can print this list out. This list now can, you know, once you print it out, you can take that to the library and, and look up the books quickly that way. And the librarian will definitely help you uh, getting books. I highly recommend going to the public library uh, because now we can uh, check out more than, uh, I think it's up to 30 books here in our area uh, for our local library. So if you go to the library just once a month, you can check out enough books to last you for the month or two and just simply renew the books. Make sure you mark your calendar, put it in your, in your phone, and just renew the books. So it doesn't have to take a lot of time to, to go through the process. Spend a few moments here on AR Book Find and select several books of interest, put them in the AR Book Bag, print them out, and take a Sunday afternoon. Uh, evening, uh, week, night, evening, if you have time, and quickly you'll be have you'll have a lot of access to uh, getting books that that are needed. And so I just wanted to share this with you. Use this as a, a tool to fine tune the books selection between the titles and authors and subjects. If you know your child is interested in sports, you can narrow it down to the advanced search and get right down to a particular topic or subtopic of interest in book level. And then start collecting those books, get a nice list together, print it out, and head to the library. Begin reading. This is what's all about reading the books and then going back and testing on those books to see how well they remember the information. So I hope this has been helpful for you. Again, if you have any uh, questions, you can always contact me uh, via email or um, directly at the school. And again, thank you for uh, watching this video. Hopefully it was helpful for you and gives you a better concept and idea of what you can do with the Accelerator Reader program. Thank you and have a great day.